Liverpool versus everybody, unlike myself, um, well, there's certain things I just see, and uh, I, I hate, I don't want to say doubt in Liverpool, but I asked honestly what he thought the final score would be at halftime, what he thought the final score would be at the end of the second half. He said 4-0, I said 2-2. I hated saying that, um, but as you see, it was a bit more nervy than it needed to be at the end of the game. I'm not really sure why. A uh, couple things I want to talk about. First of all, that goal from Conte. I, first of all, I don't know how we're not stopping his forward movement, but okay. But the goal itself, you just got to give him credit to. And and for me, Adrian is the second game in a row, all competitions. Easily could be one of the top men, men of the match. Um, there's a save he made towards the end of the game on Alonzo. It was offsides, but still, you got to be there. You can't assume it's going to be offsides. The save early from Tammy Abraham, big save. That's a big save. The game is totally different from that point on if he gets that goal. That's just facts. Tammy Abraham has been hot lately. We kept him quiet today, which I thought we would do. He came out and said some things about the, after the Champions League game about some revenge or whatever. and Whatever. But he was he was a, he was a um, non-factor today. Um, and for large parts of the game, I remember saying to myself, we really contained Conte today because he was pretty quiet. I mean, he did his usual Conte stuff here and there, but he wasn't really um, polarizing. He wasn't, in my opinion, from what I saw. Watching the game back again, maybe if I watch it back, maybe I'll see something different, but that goal was just incredible. But Salah, man, he makes Lukaku's touches look like bread and butter, uh, you know, toast, breakfast toast. He, he makes it look good. I mean, his touches were just so atrocious today. I mean, almost every single time, and the goofy nonsense about him and Mane beef or whatever, the passes or whatever. Mane gave him an incredible pass there at one point. Another heavy Timberland touch. I mean, it was just, it's, I'm going to start calling Mane, I'm going to start calling Salah TT. Timberland touch. I mean, the, 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 the heavy touches is just, it's so, and then, it's like, we, I, everyone knows how fast you are. But you don't always have to try to beat a man for speed. Cut it back. Dribble with your head up. You, 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 you're too much of a, you've been in the game way too long enough to not, to, to know that you have to dribble with your head up. Almost every time I see him dribbling, he's dribbling with his head down. I don't get it. Look, look up, goddammit. So um, that was frustrating. I thought I thought Mane was, Mane was uh, okay today. Wasn't his best, of course. Um, neither was Salah. Firmino was okay. Um, again, thank God for those set-piece goals, man, because this wasn't one of our best performances. We did enough in that first half, obviously. Um, and Chelsea kind of... I want to say they were a better team in the second half, but they, they seem to be making more of the chances. And, um, you know, by the grace of God, they didn't come up with anything besides the, the one goal they pulled back. Um, but, yeah, it's like slightly disappointing performance just overall. Um, you know, having it that nervy at the end is just unnecessary. And, again, just the, the, the in the final third, the sloppiness, the the bad passes, the, the, the heavy touches, the... the and it was just—it was just, it was just a clusterfuck in the, in the in the final third. And you know, as much as I love Genie, uh, even though he ghosts in most games, and I, he'll go down as a legend for what he did against Barcelona—a um, header and a goal that was—I don't know how that first goal was uh, wasn't met by one Barcelona, Barcelona defender, but whatever—he got the two goals. But anytime he's in the final third, I don't know why people are passing him the ball because every time he shoots the ball, there's just no confidence in it, and that's just facts. Uh, you can come for me if you want. Again, I mentioned the Barcelona game. But other than that, I mean, he's just not a guy, which is so strange because he does these things with his eyes closed, basically, in his sleep, if he wanted to, when he's playing for Netherlands. I don't get it. I mean, he just doesn't look confident when he shoots the ball for Liverpool, unless it's against Barcelona, I guess. I don't know. But I um, thought, by and large, defensively, we were pretty good today. Uh, again, the goal is not anything to do with Adrian, in my opinion. Um, could he have gotten to it? I, I don't know. It, it seems like Conte almost just scooped it off the floor. It's, Incredible shot. I don't know how he's getting that in. It was about that much uh, of, of space between the goalkeeper and the post. Um, I, I thought Adrian, again, was really good. His placement of the ball today, the dist distribution wasn't great, but good enough, I guess. Um, like I said, he, he, he made that, that first save in the, in the first half against Tammy Abraham was big, man. And, again, that's two games in a row where he stood up and made really, really big saves to keep us in the game. So I talked to Adrian. Fabinho I thought was good again. Henderson I thought was good today. Uh, very underrated, I think, performance. I don't know if people would really rate him in this game, but I thought he was good today. Um, the fullbacks were okay. Uh, Trent gets the goal, obviously, but I talked about him before. He wasn't great throughout the game, in my opinion. Robinson was okay, I guess. 
Um, but other than that, I just thought we did really good defensively. Um, but again, it's just we, we need to be better in the final third. I don't know. I don't know what this is about, but it's really showing that Liverpool and and even though I'm disappointed with this the, the overall performance, but it's about getting three points, right? So I'm I'm keeping the the that's that's the main objective. Get three points, you know. Um, keep winning games. Still in the field. That's 15 games in a row now um, in the league, obviously. But it just shows that Liverpool and City are just the the leaps and bounds above any of these other teams. I mean, right now I think it's Liverpool, City, Leicester, and West Ham. So that's I mean I know it's early, but you know the other the usual suspects of the top six they just aren't. I think Arsenal might have got that win against Aston Villa today. I don't know where that puts them. Um, they were down to ten minutes. I think they still got the win. Um, City would have felt like they 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 were making a statement by beating the twentieth ranked team in in the in the Premier League eight nil. I mean. Look, it's fine, great, but it's it's Watford. Watford are, are pro- they listen. I w- I wouldn't have said this coming to the season, but Watford might get relegated this season. That's just real talk. But uh, Man United are done. They they're long done. Um, Rashford got injured today. Who else we got? Um, yeah, I spoke about Arsenal. We just beat Chelsea, obviously. United, Tottenham are done. Um, so you know, I, it, it shows that that we. Those two teams at the top are the two teams that are going to be going for this. And we all thought this before the season started, but it's playing out that way. Um, but, yeah, I mean, it's, I'm, I'm, at the end of the day, it's getting the three points. That's all that really matters. But Liverpool have to be better in the final third, man. We have to be better in the final third. You know, we because the, the whole luck and fortune or whatever you want to call it, that's going to run out. There's no way in the world leading 2-0 that we couldn't come out in the second half and just be better and dominate the game. And that's not what happened. I don't know why on earth Klopp is taking out Mane to put – to put Milner in, I get I get the thought process behind it, but why Mane? Why not Salah? Salah was atrocious today. I'm, he just was. Um, I can't I can't think of too many great moments that that Salah had today on the ball. Um, he was getting a lot of chances, he was getting the ball a lot, but his touch was too heavy. Shout out to Tamori, I think his name is the the young uh, defender for Chelsea. He impressed me today. He did. Um, obviously, Conte gets the goal. Overall, I don't think Conte had an incredible game. But Tamari, for me, really stood out for that team in general, all, all around the board. Mason Mountain Dew wasn't, wasn't doing much at all today. Um, uh, Batshuayi, I think, should be starting if there's a way to put him in. I, I mean, I know Tammy Ibrahim's been good, but I think Batshuayi just offers something different, a little bit more pace, had a chance there in the second half. Um, but, yeah, again, all in all, I was talking to my boy Josh uh, earlier today, and we both were just agreeing that it's about getting the points at this point in the state, at this stage in the season. Um, so yeah, we got the points. Um, it's a good way to get back to winning ways. A good or a good um, performance. Um, not a good performance. Um, it's a good result, and, and it's a result that's good to get back in winning ways after the Napoli game, obviously. Um, but that's a, probably about it for me for now. Maybe come on later with the guys for a hangout group chat kind of thing. But uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your days. I guess we can just be the rest. Yeah, enjoy the rest of your day, rest of your evening, whatever it is, and. Um, we could be happy about the three points. Performance, doo-doo. Straight up doo-doo. Shit. But uh, enough to win it, and we held on the end, and so um, I'm happy about that. So onwards and upwards. Um, get ready for this midweek game against, I don't remember who it's against. Uh, anyway, yeah. I'm, I'm so frustrated about this game, and I'm trying not to be because I know it's just about the three points, but I, I don't understand why. I, and that's why I say it at halftime, 2-2. Two, two. Because I just felt like all that we were winning, we were giving them a bit too much hope. A bit, we were, we really were. We were and, and not finishing our dinner at the other side. So, anyway, I'm, I'm logging off, man. I'll see you guys later.